Hey Taurus, this is Mama TPG with One Love, One Light Tarot. Welcome to your mermaid guidance reading. Let's see what the mermaids have to say for you. Spirit, what messages do the mermaids have for Taurus? And we have the Nereid, Nereid, I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing this. Holding to the ideal while endeavoring to attain it will help to realize it. So I feel like this is really about manifestations and being very focused on your intentions. What else do we have? The Nixie. Your soul will build what it is trained to expect. All right, so this is all about focusing your intention and being very clear on, you know, what you're trying to manifest because the law of attraction said it, well, this isn't a law of attraction reading, but this is very much focused on the law of attraction and being very clear on your intentions. But let's read what the book says. They have magical meanings, these cards. So number 16, which breaks down to a seven, Okay. The near near eyed near eyed key word is fairness. With paternal certainty, the near eyed, a kindly, helpful old man of the sea, predicts the tide that the tide will turn to your advantage. Someone unexpectedly introduce introduces change from without. So help and advice flow your way because the near eyed only knows thoughts of justice for those in troubled seas. Being versatile and deserving of fair play, you may confidently introduce change and profit from the gamble. Things really can be transformed. You are as powerful as the fair female near-eyed who can marry a mortal and change into a fish, animal, burning flame, or fluid wave. Your will is easily achievable and your wishes can become reality, so have faith. All right. I feel like that's really about being focused and knowing that the way, like allowing the universe to bring forth what you deserve, right? So the Nixie, number five. Key word is versatility. The Nixie, a dweller of wells, symbolic of the soul, femininity, and rescue, predicts success in making the most of your potential. Like purified water, you will be focusing clearly on revitalizing yourself, consequently increasing your wealth of powers. Like the Nixie who can assume any shape, you will be reinventing yourself, reorganizing ambitions and home concerns. Pra uh, practically or emotionally, you will discover a new link intended for you because the well is a symbol of the astral cord that connects a person to spirit. A new source of life full of adventure, excitement, and romance is about to quench your thirst for higher knowledge. So I also see this as being flexible and really being focused on your own fulfillment and knowing that what your dreams are can be big, but the universe can bring you something even bigger. And recognizing that even when you are receiving these blessings, that sometimes it doesn't appear the way that you pictured it, but still being able to recognize that as a blessing. So let's get uh, messages from the mermaids to see where we should focus for Taurus. Spirit, what should Taurus focus on? Okay, there's one. Inner knowing. Okay, so this is also about your inner knowing, your intuition, and that was talked about in both of these cards, is that inner knowing and being led by spirit, right? That connection that you have. Where else should Taurus focus? And we have feelings. So this is really going a little bit out of your comfort zone, you know. It's about following your intuition, following that feeling that you get about something, that inner knowing, right? And trusting that and trusting that sometimes the path looks very clear and you may be 
feeling pulls to detour from that and really looking at yourself, your inner knowing, your connection to spirit, and how does that make you feel? Because it may feel right to detour, and that is because spirit is carrying you to where, to your highest good, all right? So that's what I'm saying is that it doesn't always appear exactly how you think it will. All right, so let's see how this is playing out for Taurus. All right, so we have the Ace of Wands, and this is definitely about that inner knowing. This is that that spark within that that keeps you going, that lights the fire inside of you, right? Um, and this is, could be a brand new opportunity for you, and you're being guided to take this opportunity. All right, so what else do we have? The Nine of Cups, this is all about wish fulfillment. So I feel like what's happening here, and it could be that you're dealing uh, with a Pisces. This is a Pisces card, but it, it doesn't have to be. This is about that emotional fulfillment. This is your feelings. This is emotional wish fulfillment, okay? So trust that even if this opportunity is the right one for you, you will have that inner knowing. You will have that feeling. Okay, so that's, I think, what's been eluding you in a sense. And Spirit is drawing your attention to this so that you get connected to that. You can't just, it can't all be about, you know, allowing um, that physical, tangible bread trail, breadcrumb trail, following that. It's not always about that. It's about following your heart and following your feelings. So what's the advice here? And we have the chariot could be dealing with a cancer. So I feel like um, spirit is saying, yes, you know, you may not be holding the steering wheel in this situation. Trust spirit, allow them to guide and protect you and you will have the victory. You may not, again, know where this is taking you. This chariot is taking you, but it's taking you to your highest good. What's the outcome here for Taurus? And we have the High Priestess. So water energy all over this, and we have some fire here, but this is all about, the High Priestess is all about intuition and the inner knowing and knowing things that, you know, this gives you foresight. It's like really um, strengthening your intuition, that connection you have with your own intuition, which is how spirit guides you. Okay, so let's get some clarification here. What exactly does this mean for Taurus? Why is this Ace of Wands here for Taurus? Oh, cards flying. All right, so we have the Knight of Pentacles. So definitely an offer of that that could lead to abundance. This is there's an offer that you are considering, and and Spirit is saying, trust your gut, trust your gut. Why is Nine of Cups here for Taurus? Knight of Cups. Follow your heart. Follow your heart. I mean, this is very clear. Very clear. But it is talking about actions, okay? So it's talking about... Knights are about action, right? Making things happen. So, yeah. Trust your gut. Trust that spirit is guiding and protecting you and leading you to your wish fulfillment. Why is the chariot here? And we have the queen of pentacles. Okay. So queen of pentacles for me is um, usually Capricorn, but it could be any earth sign. And so this could be you. This could be how you become the master of manifesting. This could be how you are um, very independent and secure and, you know, having that abundance and growth. That's what I'm getting here. So why is this high priestess here? And we have the six of cups. 
Okay, so we're talking about love here. And so I feel like this is somebody from your past. And you're going, you know, you're going to know, though. This is about memories. It can be about children. But all of it combined is really about an offer of joy and unconditional love. Okay, so this could be in regard to your family. It doesn't have to be. So all of this is to say this is what you are um, in pursuit of is that ultimate joy. Okay, and it can be a reconciliation. It can be a reconciliation from the past. But Spirit is saying you'll have the inner knowing. Trust your feelings, your gut, your heart, um, your intuition. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. All right, so let's get some mystical wisdom. To close this out. What is the guidance? I oh, don't wrong cards. Uh, okay. What is the guidance for Taurus? <coughs> Excuse me. Angel of miracles. Open your heart and expect a miracle. So this could have something more to do with children. I feel like when I was looking at this Queen of Pentacles and I see this little rabbit here. You know, rabbits are about fertility and luck. So this is about a miracle and it could be about a child. So that, you know, and I felt like there was something we were talking about with the Nixie um, that really um, sparked uh, that Empress energy that somebody around you or you um, could be pregnant and abundant. Um, but this could be about, you know, this a child being a big part of your near future. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and we also get cheer up, live in the moment. So this is right under feeling. So I feel like this is about, you know, um, keeping a positive attitude and that's how you're going to recognize if, say, you get a bad feeling about something. If you're surrounded by bad circumstances, you're not even going to give it a second thought. So if you keep in a positive mindset, then when your shadow is giving you those indications that, hey, this isn't right, this isn't right, then you will feel that. And that makes the most sense to me in this situation. All right, so those are the messages that came through for you, Taurus, from the mermaids. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back, and so do I. Take care.